Hello guys, welcome to my challenge CSR NET Chemistry Facts. Today we will discuss the CSR NET 2019 December question and this is the question on your screen. Here you can see this is a starting material is treated with the H new condition. So this is a photochemical reaction and let's see what will be the fate of this reaction and what will be the correct product of this reaction among these four. So guys, let us start the mechanism. So guys, this is the starting material is given and this is the H new condition is treated and this uh, is a photochemical reaction and this reaction is known as Nordisch type 2 type of reaction. Why it is Nordisch type 2 type of reaction? Because he, here you can see if the, in the starting material this is the alpha carbon, this is the beta carbon and this is the gamma carbon and this is the gamma hydrogens are present. The gamma hydrogen will take part in this reaction and hence it is known as the Nordisch type 2 type of reaction. So guys, First, we will discuss that if a carbonyl carbon is treated with the H new condition, then what will happen? This oxygen lone pair is present that is a non-bonding electrons on this oxygen, right? And there is a pi bond between this carbon and the oxygen. So, this is a pi bond. So, therefore, two type of transition is possible. One is the pi to pi star transition and another one is the N to pi star transition. So, guys, if you see the energy levels, then we can see this energy level of this molecular orbital. This is the energy diagram. And here you can see the sigma is the below energy, then pi, then non-bonding, and then pi star, and then sigma star. So, guys, if you see the N to pi star transition, it will take very less energy compared to pi to pi star transition. So, therefore, N to pi star transition will happen faster, and the N means the non-bonding electron will transfer to this pi star orbital. Okay? And because of this transfer to the pi star orbital, what will happen? The pi bond will break because the pi star orbital will take the electron and hence the pi bond will break and a radical formation will happen. So this is the radical formation reaction. And guys, if you see our starting material, then what will happen in this case? If you give a HNU, then what will happen? This carbonyl carbon, the double bond of this carbonyl carbon will break, right? And the oxygen radical and the carbon radical will form and this is the gamma hydrogen you can see this gamma hydrogen are very far from this oxygen radical but if this bond will rotate then this gamma hydrogen can come closer to this oxygen radical and here you can see these two gamma hydrogens are very close to this oxygen radical right this is the gamma hydrogen and this oxygen radical will take the proton and the electron will transfer to this carbon and this carbon radical will form so therefore the gamma carbon will be will take the radical okay and this will form the second intermediate so here you can see uh, this OH will form and the radical will be there in this carbon and here this gamma carbon will have this radical so what will happen now these two radical are very close and these two can merge together and this uh, therefore a formation of the four membered ring can take place in this case so this is the OH and this is the newly formed four membered ring so guys uh, this is this may be the possibility and this is the possible product one and this is a possible product one and there is a another possibility is present see guys here this this radical is there on the on the carbon and this can come like this and this double bond can break homolytically and the radical can transfer to this beta carbon and the radical come to here so guys what will happen this beta carbon will take the radical so guys this is the intermediate will form where the double bond OH will be there like this and the gamma carbon so therefore there will be OH right so therefore there will be a OH and the gamma carbon will have a electron so now these two electrons are looking so far but actually if I draw like this see uh, if I draw in this form then you can understand that these two are not so far these two actually very close so you can see this is the gamma radical and this is the beta radical and this is the OH and this is a double bond and here you can see these two radicals are very close and these two radicals can match together to form a newly formed sigma bond. So guys this can form. So here you can see this is a uh, this is a bicyclo compound and here you can see this is the product and this can go for tautomerism and the double bond O can come and this will be the structure and this will be the possible product 2 so this is a possible product 2 okay so guys here the, uh, here is a competition between the product 1 possible product 1 and possible product 2 that which one will be formed faster 
so guys if you see the stability this carbon possesses this uh, radical is actually unstable because the oxygen is attached with this and oxygen is so electronegative so therefore this carbon is electron deficient and again the radical is electron deficient because the radical does not have the octet so therefore this carbon is electron deficient carbon and it cannot bear a electron deficient species and hence the radical will come to this carbon which is far from the oxygen so this beta carbon is far from the oxygen so therefore this radical beta radical will be stabilized okay so this is the this is the more stable radical and hence this pathway will be, will go this reaction and this will be the major product uh, in the, the possible uh, product two will be the major product and that will be our correct answer so guys if you see among these options the option number 4 is actually the possibility one what is the wrong answer i already told so therefore this is not the correct answer and if you go to the option number 2 and option number 3 then therefore there is a formation of the alkene but in the radical reaction the cyclization will happen and therefore this is not the correct answer so these two options are also wrong answer and hence the option number 1 is showing the correct structure of the product and hence this option number 1 is the correct answer so guys hope you understand this logical explanation thank you so much for watching this video i will come for the next video tomorrow please like comment and subscribe this channel and please share with your friends and please press the bell icon for the new notification of this channel thank you so much